while facial recognition technology is advancing. The future of surveillance isn't just identifying what you look like on the outside. It's already moving inside your body. Spying not just on you, but in you. And it's tightening security on the most sensitive borders in the world. Airports, the crossroads for billions of people. And one of our most vulnerable points of attack. Surveillance technology is critical. And when it comes to controlling borders, the eyes are everything. Iris recognition is a mathematical system that uses the colored part of the eye to determine who you are. Traditional passports can be forged, but your identical twin or even your own other eye has its own unique uncopyable pattern. The iris is the only internal organ easily visible from the outside and it has a pattern that never changes. So it serves as an ideal living passport. Irises are normally more than 10 times more accurate than, fi more accurate than fingerprints and much more reliable identifiers than faces. You could easily be tricked into thinking this is a picture of the US vice president next to the president. But actually, Dick Cheney's eyes, nose and mouth been copied from Bush's face onto his own. It's hard to tell one face from another. There just isn't that much difference between them. There's not very much randomness in faces. If faces had as much randomness as irises, then different faces would have random numbers of noses, six noses and five mouths and three eyes in different random positions. Then face recognition would work pretty well. Cambridge University professor John Dogman is the inventor of iris recognition. It's the high degree of randomness in the iris that makes Dogman system so powerful. His mathematical formulas are already helping track people along sensitive borders. The UAE counts on the system to catch people trying to enter the country illegally. So cool. 80% of those living in the UAE come from abroad. To control this flow of humanity, all foreign visa holders are tracked against an immigration blacklist, a database of 500,000 criminals and visa violators. The country scans about 7,000 people each day. Thank you. First, a scanner shoots invisible infrared light into the eye to locate and isolate the iris. Then, it plots the random patterns of the iris and constructs a mathematical equation called an iris code. In a single second, it compares this code against the half a million other codes in the database and searches for a match. Today, Inspector Ibrahim has found a problem with a man who has just arrived from Iran. In less than a second, the computer makes a half a million comparisons and shows that the pattern of his eye matches an iris code in the database. They find a match. He cannot come to UAE anymore. This ban is forever. The man is on the blacklist because he tried once before to enter the country without a visa. This time, his own body has betrayed him. He'll be returned on the next flight to Iran. The system has already caught more than 25,000 people trying to enter the country illegally. Shatter your old routines. Set your clock. Iris scans ideas by peering into our bodies. 
new technologies like ID implants, iris scans, and facial recognition have the power to reveal anyone who has committed a crime or crossed a border illegally. But they also have the power to invade our privacy. In the future world of total surveillance, there may be nowhere to hide.